Hello, this is the assembly video for the tool locking carriage on the Daksh V2 tool changer. The files for this tool locking mechanism are up on the GitHub. I'll put a link on the uh, to the GitHub in the description below. The bomb is also up um, on the GitHub um, page. So there are six uh, pieces in total that need to be printed two sliding lock mechanisms two spring compressions two lock bodies there are um, um, this this is the bottom one and this is the top one and then one integrated carriage that sits on an mgn12 uh, h block like this um, the carriage itself uh, uses the arch type break neck um, mechanism so um, that's the arch type logo up there uh, because this is derived from that um, in addition to the printed pieces you also need uh, some hardware these are um, um, springs 12 mm uh, springs with uh, 6 mm outer diameter and 5 mm inner diameter uh, we need um, eight of them four for each carriage they just sit in the holes that are designed for um, these um, springs on the on the tool bodies um, in addition we also need uh, for the tool bodies we need m3 by 16 double pins uh, they go into the holes on um, on the tool bodies um, we need four for the lower tool body and uh, two for the um, upper low, upper uh, tool body. Um, in addition, we need uh, one hex screw on the lower body and two M3 hex screws on the top body. So that essentially is uh, the hardware required for uh, the two locking bodies. Now, moving on to the carriage, we require uh, four M3 by 24 double pins um, that um, um, sit in the slots or the holes that are uh, made for uh, these double pins. Uh, so two on each side. Um, on the sliding lock mechanism, so again, we need uh, double pins. These are M3 by 20 double pins. Um, so three of them sit in the holes that are uh, designed for uh, on them. And then we need two M3 by 30 double pins um, that need to be ground at a 45 degree angle on one end. Uh, and then when you assemble these, um, we need to make sure that the uh, open side of this um, sliding lock mechanism has these ground um, um, faces facing up. Um, they get inserted into these pieces from the side. So we need to assemble two of these. So um, once all of this prep work has been done, the assembly is pretty easy. Um, we essentially take the spring compressions. They are uh, unique to each of uh, the, uh, the tool bodies. So just make sure you actually are using the correct one. Um, they will only fit in properly uh, on, uh, on the correct uh, lock body. Um, size so you need to make sure that um, you fit this correctly and you are able to get the spring to move up and down without any uh, friction so just like this uh, on this side then uh, when you essentially are assembling the the carriage you need to hold the um, the carriage um, body with the outer part facing you so like this and what we need to ensure is that this rectangular hole that is on this side that is to the right side um, when you're looking at the carriage uh, when you're looking at this from the front and then the other thing that also needs to be kept in mind is that it should essentially be these the the um, on the open part of this um, sliding mechanism should be facing backwards. So this is the correct orientation with the ground parts facing the ground parts of the 
M3 by 30 double pins facing me. Now you need to insert it so that it sits like this. So this double pin needs to go into this slot here so that this can actually move like this. And we need to make sure that essentially when this is completely pulled, this is flush uh, the sliding mechanism uh, part is flush with the um, outer body of the carriage. So if you look at it, it's completely flush and this is how it actually moves. So we assemble it like this. Then we take, you have to remember, so it's the A actually is like this. So this is the top part of the tool body. We need to take the uh, tool body, which has just two double pins or a single part. And then essentially we, these holes need to align with these double pins. So essentially we just align them like this and push it forward. We just make sure that this can actually move freely. And there are two M3 by 16 Allen screws that are required on this side. So we use this and then two M3 by 12s that are required on this side. So we essentially just put them in there and fasten them. Just don't over fasten them. Um, so I'll just turn this off, give a couple of twirls with my hand. Same on this side. Just make sure that this is completely fastened. You should be able to see that this is completely sealed properly. And you should be able to look into the tool and see that these two dowel pins, they should just slightly be um, extruding from here. When I move this, they should move completely. So that is how the locking mechanism actually works. So that is how this should uh, look once you have this assembled. Same thing we actually do on the other side. Now that we have it assembled, we can actually just kind of make sure we are again uh, putting it correctly. So these ground pieces, uh, ground faces go towards the back like this. These slots are aligned correctly. We take the second um, lock body with the two with the four double pins and just align it correctly with the carriage um, one m3 by 16 screw goes there and then two of these go from the other side into the um, pins on the uh, into the um, square nuts on this side so essentially in here now we just need to make sure that this kind of gets aligned correctly i think the pin just needs to be or, or the hex nut is not positioned correctly so i'll just take it out and make sure that i position it correctly and now essentially I can just go and fasten it up. So just a couple of manual twirls. And I think we are done with the assembly. So this should, both of these should move. Okay, so now if you look at this, I can move this back and forth easily. I can move this back and forth. So that is the assembly for the um, tool carriage. Um, in the next video, we will assemble the tool head itself, but I have uh, one partly assembled here. Um, I'll just demonstrate how it actually locks in. So this is, these are the two MGN 12 linear rails uh, with uh, M3 by 16 double pins that stick out. Um, so 
they it, it kind of just goes in like this and gets locked like this and that's tight lock so to release you essentially just do like this and then it opens up so that's the locking mechanism for the um, tool head and this will go on to the MGN12 block. The MGN12 block sits in here, just like this. It will just go in there. Um, and that is what it actually, um, this is how it will actually be facing. So when you actually look at it from the front, that is how this will look. Thank you for watching the video. Um, I will uh, see you in the next video when we go on uh, to assemble the tool head. Thank you.